For the branches of the axillary artery, we know that there is the first part, second part, and third part. Let me tell you a very interesting thing. The first part gives off one branch, second part gives off two branches, and third part gives off three branches. Pretty easy, right? So we discuss the branch of the first part, the two branches of the second part, and the three branches of the third part. Now, I want you to remember this mnemonic hotel spa. Okay, hotel spa. So the first one is the H, then you omit this O, and then this for the second part we have the T and L, omit the E, and then the third part we have the three of them. Okay, so for the first part, this H represents the superior thoracic artery. You can also say higher thoracic artery, higher thoracic artery or superior thoracic artery. But the common name is the superior thoracic artery. So the superior thoracic artery arises from where? The first part, right? So from the first part here, we have our superior thoracic artery. And where does it supply? It supplies the pectoral muscles. So you expect it to supply where? The pectoralis major and pectoralis minor, basically. So it goes to supply the pectoral muscles. Then the next one we have is the, for the second part, for the second part, what do we have? We have two arteries, the thoracic acromion and the lateral thoracic arteries. So for the thoracic acromion, we trace it from here. Thoracic acromion gives off four parts that run at what right angle to one another. So they run at right angle to each other. This is at right angle to this, right angle to this, this and this. So they run at right angles to each other. And then the, the branches it gives off are, for the thoracic acromion, gives off four branches. What, what, and what? It gives off the clavicular, clavicular, the what? Acromial branch. The what? Pectoral branch, or let's say deltoid branch first. And then pectoral. So, we've discussed that the second part gives off two branches, the thoracic acromial and the lateral thoracic. And the thoracic acromial gives off four branches, small, sm four small arteries. And then these arteries are the clavicular, acromial, deltoid, and pectoral. Don't stress your head. Just remember, cadavers are dead people. So we have cadavers are dead people. I'm sure you know cadavers are dead people. So cadavers are dead people for the branches of the thoracic acromion. Now, the Cadavers are dead people are the clavicular, acromial, deltoid, and pectoral. Where do they go? The clavicular go to the clavicle. Usually it goes up towards the where sternoclavicular joint. So where it supplies the clavicle, head of the clavicle. Then the other one, the acromion, goes up towards where the acromion. This is the acromion over here. So it supplies the acromion and surrounding structures. Then the deltoid goes to supply the deltoid muscle. Even the deltoid muscle runs and covers up this area. So it supplies the what? Deltoid. And then the last one is pectoral, supplies pectoral muscles. So you expect that the P major would be over all these structures. You know, it forms the anterior wall of the axilla. Then the other branch is the lateral thoracic branch. So lateral thoracic, where do you expect it to supply? The lateral aspect of the thorax. So, 
lateral thoracic runs from the second part and supplies lateral aspect of the thoracic wall. You know, when we studied the axilla, we discussed that the lateral chest wall, as the upper lateral chest wall, forms the medial border of the axilla. So this is the axilla, this is the medial border of the axilla, and it's the lateral border of the upper part of the chest or the thorax. So the lateral thoracic artery supplies the lateral thorax. And what are the muscles you expect to see in the lateral thorax? Serratus anterior, right? Remember serratus anterior from the video on axilla. So the serratus anterior is found around here and then the lateral thoracic artery supplies the serratus anterior. It also gives off some branches. It also gives off some branches which supplies the breast. You know the breast will be found around here. The breast will be found around this region. Okay, so the breast will be found around this region. And then the lateral thoracic gives off mammary branches that supply, that's the lateral mammary branches that supplies the breast. So we've seen the lateral thoracic. Now let's move over to what? Uh, SPA, that's our SPA, right? So for the SPA, we have what, what, and what. The first one is the subscapular. So the first one is the subscapular artery. And the subscapular artery is from the third part. Let me use the blue. So subscapular artery is from the third part. Let me use the red. So from the third part, we have the subscapular artery. It runs on the, you know, the muscle found on this part of the scapula. As the anterior part of the scapula is the subscapularis. Remember, we said it now as live in the video on axilla. So the subscapularis is over here, and then it runs on the subscapularis. As it runs, it gives off a branch called what? Who can guess that? Circumflex scapula artery. So the circumflex scapula artery runs this way and goes to the back. So it curves around the lateral border. Of the, this is the lateral border of the scapula. It curves around the lateral border of the scapula to supply muscles in the back of the scapula, the areas in the back of the scapula. Then, and you know this is the teres major, and this is the scapula, so it passes between it and then runs posteriorly. Then the subscapular artery continues as what the thoracodosal artery, which runs to supply the latissimus dorsum. Now there's another artery from the third part of the axillary artery, which is your words. You know, we have the posterior and anterior. Okay, that's the P, we have the posterior, posterior, circumflex, complex, humeral artery. And we have the words anterior, circumflex, humeral artery. So these are the three arteries. We discussed the subscapular. Now we'll discuss the posterior circumflex humeral and anterior circumflex humeral. So from the third part, we have the anterior circumflex humeral, which runs anteriorly, anterior circumflex humeral artery, which runs anteriorly over the surgical neck of the humerus. And then it gives off a branch as it's running. This branch runs up the intertubacular groove. You know the intertubacular groove has the lateral lip and medial lip. So you've heard of the lady between two measures, right? So this artery that the circumflex, that the anterior circumflex humeral, humeral artery gives off, runs in this intertubacular groove to supply the what, head of the humerus and structures around. Then the posterior circumflex humeral artery now runs posteriorly over the surgical neck of the humerus and then comes to anastomose with the anterior circumflex humeral. And then as, it run, as the posterior circumflex humeral runs, it gives off some arteries or some branches that supply the triceps muscles. So as a brief recap, we've said that the first part gives off one artery from hotel spot, the superior thoracic, which supplies the pectoral muscles. Then the second branch gives off the two, two arteries, that's the thoracoacromial and the lateral thoracic. Thoracal acromial gives off four branches. That's cadavers are dead people, right? So one is the clavicular, acromial, deltoid, and the pectoral. So the clavicular supplies the, goes towards the sternoclavicular joint, supplies the head of the clavicle. Acromial goes to the acromial 
deltoid goes to the deltoid, and then pectoral goes to the pectoral region. And then the lateral thoracic runs along the lateral wall of the thorax, to supply the serratus anterior, and then gives off mammary branches as the lateral mammary branches that supplies the breast. You know, the breast is around here. So it gives off the lateral mammary branches that supplies the breast. Then the from the third part, we have the subscapular artery, which runs on the subscapular is given off the second flex scapular artery that curves around the lateral border of the scapula and goes posteriorly. And then the subscapular then continues as the thoracodosal artery. Then the other two branches from the third part are the anterior and the posterior circumflex arteries. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lecture on axillary artery. Do well to subscribe, share, and put your questions and comments below. Thank you.